Hey everyone, I'm starting this series to try and deal with some of the misinformation and misunderstandings that's been rather rampant in the communities both involved and interested in working on Cicada 3301. Now there's a lot of videos out there, and I don't expect any sort of intrinsic level of trust for my video more than I would expect you to have for anyone else talking about the same thing. So I'm going to start with not only mentioning my own credentials and why I might be somebody worth listening to talk about this, but also by taking it a step further and proving them. So I was one of the 10 or so winners of the 2013 Cicada puzzle. I was at least adjacent to the 2012 one and actively solving in the 2014. Through these, I've dealt with most of the public communications that have ever come from 3301. I've had a number of personal ones through them after solving in 2013. And I've had a lot of opportunities to talk with the other solvers, a lot of the winners from other years, and generally get a bit of insight that I feel, and I hope you agree, will be above and beyond what you might be getting from other YouTubers. But again, I don't expect you to trust me, I'm going to prove it. So if you don't understand what's on screen right now, that's fine. I'm going to cover it more in a later video, most likely the 2012 one. But pretty much what this means is that 3301 has encrypted a message for me using my PGP key and signed by their own, making it a one-to-one -one conversation. I'm not going to show you the contents right now. So before I go too much further, I want to do two things. The first of which is to say, I absolutely do not have a list of names and locations of members and even if I did, talking about it would go against the very nature of the group. So while I might not have enough to tell you that, I will hopefully be able to put to rest some of the stranger theories people have about them. The second thing is I'd like to very briefly talk about what the 3301 puzzles actually were for the people who haven't done as much research or might be newer here. So starting in 2012, and continuing for the next few years, Cicada was an internet puzzle. It began around the 5th of January each year. Uh, the puzzles themselves were nearly all cryptographic and steganographic in nature, but the theming of them changed quite a bit from year to year. And it's also partially the reason for the, some of the stranger ideas that people have about them. The common themes included esotericism, Zen Buddhism, things like Crowley and Cohen's and Grail Myth, some of the mathematically esoteric things, like Hofstadter's GEB. It's come out in a few places by now that the goal of the puzzles at least seemed to be to join 3301 when you won, but instead the winners were mostly put in touch with each other and tasked to work on cryptographic solutions together anonymously with a contact at 3301. So literally everything 3301 has ever said publicly, short of two examples which I will mention later on in this video, have come either from those puzzles or to the people who solved them those years. So if you've heard a big list of, you know, global reaching involvement in things from 3301. Well, I mean, obviously that's not provable true or false. It's pretty obviously made up, but I'll get to that a little later on. I think the important thing to do before I get to something like that, which is what Cicada isn't, is to talk about what Cicada is. So I'll be using the leaked 2012 email as my source for this part of the conversation, which is available for everyone to read on the Uncovering Cicada wiki. There's really only three or four things that 3301 has ever directly claimed to be their beliefs. So in the leaked email, you had to give your opinion, and they gave their insight on it as well, on a few things. They asked whether you believe that every human has a right to privacy and anonymity, and is within their rights to use tools which help obtain and maintain that privacy, whether or not you believed that information should be free, and whether you believed that censorship harmed humanity. Of course, in the same email, they imply a lot of other things, saying like they'd solved puzzles like this before, talking about their stance against tyranny and oppression. But generally, that's pretty much all of what Cicada is that we know. It's a group of individuals who are interested in the inalienable right of privacy of the individual, the freedom of information, and the struggle against the tyranny of censorship. By the very nature of these rather specialized interests, as well as the specialized skills involved in the creation and solving of these puzzles, you can be quite certain that they aren't a massive group. But I'll talk more about the size in a later video when we get to the postering in 2012. So let's talk a minute about what Cicada isn't, then. I've heard a lot of claims over the years, each more ridiculous than the last, but I'm going to address two of the big ones that you hear a lot first. Uh, the first one is that they're a group of hackers, and the second is that they're some sort of shady secret cabal. So I'm going to throw some examples up on screen here of how Cicada has responded to hacking claims in the past. There are also the two other cases I've mentioned from before. 
It's in fact proven to be one of the only ways of getting them to respond in recent years. So there were two major claims, one in South America and one by the person responsible for the planned parent attack last summer. Their responses, PGP signed of course because otherwise you can't tell that it is Cicada, to each of these claims is shown on the screen. So combine these with their comments in the same leaked invitation email I discussed earlier on, where they strongly state no involvement in anything considered a hacking group or a wares group, and you should get a sense of how little they want to be associated with these kinds of groups. Now the Cabal claim is even more ridiculous and harder to directly comment on because there's very little logic to it. I may make another video later in the series to address it, but to put it simply I'll say this. In 2014, when 3301 used an image of the composer Bach, the sane and reasonable assumption was absolutely not to say they must be musicians, they must love Bach, to go back through all the different stages of the puzzle and trying to find the music connections and all of it. Of course, the sane response was instead to put it together with the other pieces we had at the time, which was a Gödel equation and an Escher drawing, to get Gödel, Escher, Bach, which happened to be a book by Hofstadter and conveniently solved the book code we were currently working on. And yet this is exactly what people seem to do when they talk about the esoteric works that they mention. They try to string them all together and draw these ridiculous sweeping conclusions, which has ended at this sort of weird myth about this shady cabal that for some reason seems to scare people, which I'm not sure would be a bad thing even if it was true, but I guess that's anti-intellectualism for you at work. I think that'll do for now for a rough overview of what Cicada is and is not. There was really two things I wanted to accomplish in this first video. One was to let everyone actually know a little bit about Cicada, what they feel, what the puzzles were like. And the second, equally important, was to try and reintroduce to this community the idea of requiring proof for ridiculous claims. I encourage any of the other groups out there doing their fake Cicada puzzles, the Moby guys, all the hilarious Cicada music videos, to come forward. If you have a direct communication signed by a PGP key from 3301, I guarantee you people will have to believe you if you bring it forward. And I can also guarantee that none of them will, because they don't have it. So for the rest of this series, I'm going to be doing a video walkthrough of each of the three years of Cicada puzzles, as well as doing a video at the end that's sort of a cap piece. It'll draw conclusions from those, it'll include some of my own opinions, as opposed to directly evidenced things of what Cicada is and isn't, as well as stuff that's come from my communications with the other solvers and the other winners of previous years. So until then, happy solving and good luck!